You know, it seems like the coffee tastes more robust when it's football season. Seems like the air is a little crisper. Seems like there's a little bit more bounce in your step when it's football season. And today, friends, today is the day. Football is back. Oh, my goodness. We started this clock where you see zero, zero, zero. It was 226. There's no more days. Zero days until the season. We're down to 11 hours, 48 minutes, and 20 seconds. You know, maybe maybe I'll just do a live stream just of the desk for like the last 10 hours, just so you guys can see that clock. But, you know, I, I think I'm going to do that. So we can just count down to the kickoff of the season. Oh, my God. 226 days. It seems like it was just yesterday that Amazon delivered that clock to me. And here we are. We have the Bears against the Packers. And then the day after tomorrow, me and Michael Anthony will be in Big D. Oh my goodness. I got so much to do between now and then. It's not even funny. I got to check my equipment. I got to make sure I got my mics working. Got to get my Mevos together. In fact, I, I need to do a little test because I don't want to mess up. I don't want to miss a minute of the action. Whew. I can't believe it. It is literally here. Wow. Let's get open for business, guys. Let's wake up the football gods. And we'll be seeing Randy White and Ed Tutal Jones this weekend at their tailgate uh, before the game. We'll be seeing Michael Gallup. We'll be seeing Travis Frederick. We'll be seeing Zach Martin. We'll check out Zach. See how that back is. We'll try and talk to uh, uh, Travis Frederick about the uh, recovery. And see, here's the great thing about Travis Frederick. He's not just happy to be back. He wants to get back to his level and beyond. He is a man on a mission to go ahead and say, hey, I'm good. My team missed me last year. But I'm back, baby, and I'm going to do everything I can to get us to another level. Demarcus Lawrence got paid, had the shoulder surgery. He's hangry. He's got the deal with Snickers. He got the deal with the Dallas Cowboys. And he feels he's got a lot to prove because even though he's had two fantastic seasons in a row, it still seems like people don't consider him one of the top defenders. That he was a flash in the pan. And I believe it's his mission to show everybody that he is worth what he got paid. Zeke Elliott. Whew, he held a gun to the Dallas Cowboys head. And they paid him. He's the highest paid running back in the history of the NFL. And I think he's on a mission. To prove everybody that he is the best. Because, you know, even though he has 600 yards more than the next guy over the last three years, even missing six games because of suspension, people believe that other running backs are better than him. And I think you're going to see that guy go out there to leave no doubt that he is the best and deservedly of getting that contract. Dak Prescott, Dakota. I don't know that there's any player in the NFL that has been trashed more than him. 
I don't know that there's any player out there that gets scrutinized on every single play. I don't know that there's a player out there that even when the topic of discussion is not Dak Prescott, that it somehow always comes back to Dak Prescott. But this is nothing new to Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott has always been doubted. Dak Prescott, yeah, he wasn't thought to be the starter in high school until somebody got hurt. And he grabbed a hold of that job and wouldn't let it go. He wasn't recruited by the big schools. He went to Mississippi State, a school that really was not known for football. But yet he took that team and had them actually ranked number one in the toughest college football conference, the Southeast Conference. A league that puts about 50 plus players in the NFL every single year. He put that team on the map. And don't say it was because he had a lot of talent around him because the only other offensive player that was drafted on that team was his tight end in the sixth round. He didn't have you know, all Americans around him. He didn't have great wide receivers. He had Dak. And he proved those doubters wrong. When it came to the combine, oh, man, Carson Wentz, Jared Goff, Paxton Lynch, Jacoby Brissett, all these guys are better than Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, mm, if you need a backup quarterback, he might be okay. He, we're not sure now, but he might be okay for a backup. Yeah, they doubt. And they've doubted the Dallas Cowboys. We've heard them talk about the Dallas Cowboys, the 19th ranked team in the NFL. How the hell do you get a team that was in the playoffs in the divisional round last year that had a top 10 defense, had the best running back in football, has the second winningest quarterback in the NFL, has a wide receiver that literally changed the season. I get it. I'm not going to say that they're number one, but 19. And you look at a team like the Cleveland Browns that haven't won a playoff game in, I don't know, 20-plus years. I get it. They got some pieces. But you have them ninth? Or the Green Bay Packers with a new coach? A team that's been a disappointment the last two years? You have them like eighth? And then you say the Cowboys, 19th? They doubt you. They throw shade on you. They say, huh, can't win the big one. And you know, for me, it's deja vu. One, we always hear about all these teams that are going to do so good. Remember, beginning of last year, they said the Eagles, best built team in football. The Eagles, Super Bowl contenders after coming off the Super Bowl win. Unbeatable. Hmm. They made it to the playoffs, but they weren't as good as advertised. That's the great thing about football. Everybody's got an opinion. Very few are right. That's why we got 256 games to find out who is deserving of the playoffs and that opportunity to go to that Super Bowl. I think when the dust clears, my Dallas Cowboys, even though everybody doubts them, will be one of those teams that are standing, ready to fight it out in the playoffs. Whew. So it begins. 17 weeks. That's it. 17 freaking weeks. Whew. If you're interested in Lava Cantina, um, we'll be there two to four. Uh, we'll be doing some live streams and stuff. I'll be seeing Law Nation and things. Um, hit up CowboysExperience.com. Um, 
email them, tell them I sent you. Um, I'll be posting and I'll be doing videos, guys. Videos are going to be on steroids this weekend. We're going to be all over Dallas uh, bringing you the kickoff of the NFL season and hopefully a victory over those giant cockroaches. But in the meantime, well, I got to go get my butt to work. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, thank you guys for being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. <laughs> 11 hours and 38 minutes to go.